This is video one of the 3000 watt power inverter repair. Now, you're not going to see it repaired on this video, but you're going to see why it needs to be repaired and what happens to them, why they fail. All right. Hi, right, people. I've got a 3000 watt power inverter from Durified. Now this is a clamshell model, which means it's basically just two identical pieces that will go together and they just lay on top of each other and they're dependent on the screws that go into the ends of the castings, moldings, into the screws to hold them together. They are two identical, very cheap, long pieces of channel that's just cut into the links required for 3,000 and same thing for 2,000 and well whatever they're going to make them out of and inside of this one it doesn't actually have the heat sinking to the outside of the case the heat sinking is into this item right here now that's not very good and here and it, to show you that it's still attached here's the top half and if you want to look and do the math, there's 3,000 watts, 13 volts. So that would be 3,000 divided by 13 volts. That's pretty average uh, for a 12-volt system. And this is a 12-volt inverter. That would require 230 amps of electricity or current of current to power this at 3,000 watts. Now, the only problem with that is, is once you look at these terminals, one, this terminal is rated for 150 amps, this terminal from Durafide. Now, once this is rated for that, even though that's a very short run and it could probably handle 230 amps, it's not going to handle it very continuously. The second thing is, is the gauge of these wires. Now, this is an ink pen. And it's going to show you the gauge of these wires. And everybody knows an ink pen is basically 0.27 of an inch or just a little over, uh, a little over a quarter. So if you look at this, these wires, and you can feel them, are probably no bigger than 8 gauge at best. And it's Chinese gauge. And Chinese gauge means Chinese gauge cheating. The second thing is, is the odd lengths. Every one of these lengths are different lengths. Okay? Now... Sometimes that doesn't matter, but in this case it actually does because it's supplying two banks of transformers and those two banks of transformers to be balanced for it to come out of the circuit board over here to get your voltage that you're wanting to get it balanced. You need these equal length because just an inch of this resistance under load is dramatic. These are not done that way. If you want to improve your inverter, you can do that by getting better quality wire and actually removing it from the board and going through all the trouble of doing that. The second thing is, is that Durify did make a slight improvement by making it to where you could pull the fuses because the spades are actually soldered to the board, not the fuse. That's an improvement, but not a great one. This one here, when I first bought it, it had a fuse literally missing from right here. So that's a fuse that was installed into it. And those are 30 amp fuses, multiples, and that's fine to do that, just as long as you keep up your impacity. So, now, the problem with this inverter is, is that the power supply feeding the MOSFETs, and we'll get this over here so we can see it better, has burned out, has burned out its resistors. Those 10 ohm resistors that are sitting there, there's one here, which means that this MOSFET failed. It's power supply powering that MOSFET, uses that resistor, it failed, and I'm sure that MOSFET's bad. Over here, same story. You have right here, another one, 10 ohm resistor. Now all these are 10 ohm resistors, all down in here, feeding the power, which would drop it down to, I believe, about seven and a half volts, if I'm correct. Uh, to feed the MOSFETs switching speed and everything else. So that one also burned out, which means this MOSFET is bad. It's very strange at what point the bank burned out. 
This is both on the lower end of your square wave. Both. Lower end on this end here and vice versa coming back this side. These two here are the same purpose. Now, over here in the other side, none of them burned out, which is really odd because that's usually the weaker side. Now, technically, I have a 1,000 watt inverter sitting right here. This is a 1,000 watt inverter. This is a 1,000 watt from here back inverter. This is a 1,000 watt inverter. These capacitors right here are dedicated to powering. This is dedicated to powering each one of these boards, keeping them set up with their required voltage under circumstances of change. Now, we're going to be replacing these MOSFETs with a higher voltage MOSFET. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because, let's see if you can see that. Okay, this is a upgraded version of this MOSFET and we're going to be replacing them with this MOSFET and these MOSFETs down here are 60 volt, which is the absolute bare necessity and these MOSFETs here I believe have an 85 volt capacity so the likelihood of them burning out is less they will produce probably more heat but I'll increase cooling by putting in better fans these are the cheapest damn fans you can get they are load sensing they are based on the fact that once capacitors start to discharge they fire up which means there's a load now process we're working with here is we're going to repair this inverter we're going to balance all wiring in this inverter so all wiring is the same length and which only requires actually me adding longer wires to these areas right here and longer wires is all that's required but these wires appear to be the same length as the wires going to the upper board and I'll actually be able to remove a little bit to balance these and I will balance these wires and possibly we will stop this condition that was engineered into this inverter. So if you have a Durified inverter, I suggest that you go ahead and pre-order yourself some of these MOSFETs and all their inverters use the same 10 ohm half watt resistors to feed power for the switching in your MOSFET. Go ahead and get you a bag of these. I'll put you a link on there where you can get them there should just be a repair kit involved with these because these are sold with repairs in their future might as well get this it's only about 10 bucks get it over with all right guys look forward to a uh, repaired up running unit next video this is video one video two might take a little while very busy we'll get back with you on it